Thank you, Kathy. And I would also like to welcome you to the now 45th annual Boston Globe Porn Book Awards. Has anyone been here for all of them? <laughs> if you did, you'd win a prize. This is the third year the awards have been presented at Simmons College, a, a connection that we have long cherished and will continue to nurture. As Kathy just told you, the Horn Book was founded by a Simmons alum, Bertha Mahoney Miller, in 1924. In the 1970s, Horn Book editors Paul Hines and Ethel Hines were instrumental in creating the Center for the Study of Children's Literature, which, which graduated fully two-thirds of the current Horn Book staff. Do Kitty, Katrina, and I sometimes feel ganged up on? Yes, we do. The center is now, of course, headed by Kathy, who is also Associate Dean of the Simmons College of Arts and Sciences. Kathy, there you are. I can. Thank you for all of your work on behalf of the awards and the Horn Book. I would also like to recognize Susan P. Bloom, Director Emerita of the Center of the Study for Children's Literature, and a longtime friend of and reviewer for the Horn Book. I would also like to take this chance to thank Susan publicly for the fabulous chocolate and praline wedding cake <laughs> she made for Richard Ash and I when we were married last month. <laughs> Richard, thank you for all you've done for the Horn Book and for taking the pictures here tonight. If this man shoves a camera in your face, it's not because he's a paparazzo. <laughs> he's on the job. Also with us tonight is former Hornbook editor Anita Silvey, currently approaching children's books from a different angle, blogging about a different children's classic daily at childrensbookalmanac.com. Anita, what do you think Bertha would have made of our electronic world? Where are you? <laughs> Welcome. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. There is one more old friend in the audience I would like to introduce. We have lots of old friends here, lots of former winners of this award, but this is someone who I really want to make sure you know is here. Visiting for the first time at the Boston Globe Horn Book Awards is the Newbery Medal, Margaret Edwards Award winner, the Grumman Medal winner, Edgar Award winner, Scott O'Dell Award winner, and National Humanities Medal winner, Richard Peck. Please give him a hand. Wow, that was like an Irving Thalberg Award moment. <laughs> for those of you who are smart enough to sign up for the Horn Book at Simmons Colloquium tomorrow, same place, right here, Richard will be delivering the keynote address on this year's theme, Engaging Worlds Real and Imagined. Thank you for joining us. Everyone at the Horn Book works hard to make these awards a success. While, like Santa, the awards come but once a year, the work that goes into them begins long before and continues long after. Please give particular thanks to organizational genius Katrina Hadeen, who coordinated about 10 different departments to bring this evening to you. As they used to say, and oh how I miss this, at the Newbury Caldecott Banquet to the Honor Book recipients, Katrina, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Katrina. Now to the awards. The Boston Globe Horn Book Awards have their own peculiarities. Their only charge is to, quote, reward excellence in literature for children and young adults. They run on a calendar that begins June 1st and ends May 31st. They are decided by three judges who are chosen by me. The awards are given in <laughs> The awards are given in three categories, nonfiction, picture books, and fiction. Over the years, poetry has landed in all of these categories, by the way. And I think it is a particular point of pride for these awards that the picture book awards always go to the author 
and the illustrator should they be different people. Caldecott Medal, take note. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our judges. This year's chair is Jennifer M. Brabander, senior editor of the Hornbook magazine. When I first came to the Hornbook in 1996, my boss, Duncan Todd, told me, Jennifer is kind of like the Norma Ray around here. <laughs> no, she doesn't stand up in her office chair holding up a sign that says, Stop Celebrity Publishing! <laughs> but she has always been particularly attuned to issues of fairness and diplomacy in the office. And for that, I thank her. She is also the best reader aloud I know. Jennifer will be presenting the Fiction Awards. Dean Schneider is a Hornbook reviewer and teaches 7th and 8th grade at the Ensworth School in Nashville, Tennessee. With his wife, Robin Smith, Dean is responsible for two of the Hornbook's most popular posters, Unlucky Arithmetic, 13 Ways to Raise a Non-Reader. Here's tip number 10. Under no circumstances, read your child the same book over and over. She heard it once, she should remember it. <laughs> and then last year, Robin and Dean gave us When A is for Xbox, 26 Ways to Prevent Summer Reading. Here's T. Turn that reading light off. It's casting a glare on the TV. <laughs> Dean will be presenting the awards for picture books. Robin Brenner is the teen librarian at the Brookline Public Library. And while I had met her at some children's book things and she had written for the Horn Book, when I wanted to ask her to judge this year, I had no idea how to get in touch with her. This story is so 21st century. I poked around on the Brookline Library's website but couldn't find her email address. But then I saw a type-in box labeled, Ask a Librarian. So what the hell, right? <laughs> I type in, how do I get in touch with Robin Brenner? And not five seconds go by when another line pops up. I'm Robin Brenner. <laughs> in addition to her work at Brookline, Robin also administers an excellent blog that reviews graphic novels, noflyingnotights.com. Robin is going to start us off with the nonfiction awards. But first, just a couple, few things. Cell phones off, everybody, yes? Should have done that already? Okay, good. I want to give you some directions. Restrooms are just outside this room down the small set of stairs. There is another set of restrooms at the far end of the hallway if this one gets crowded. Terry Schmitz, yay, Terry. Hand for Terry, please, and Leo Landry. Terry and Leo are here from the children's bookshop right outside this door, selling books by tonight's honorees, who will be autographing after the awards in the large reception room on the first floor of this building. I want to call it Central Perk, but that's Friends, right? What's the name of that room? Uh, Java, City. Java City. Central Perk, Java City. Um, down there, you will also find free snacks, wine, and soft drinks. Please join us. And Robin, take it away. <laughs> 